Hi guys, we are out in the workshop with the fastest computer that I can find. We're using a Samsung laptop with dual processors and 4 gig of installed memory and I think the 32 bit system can only use 3 point something gig. So the fastest thing I've got, it's got a high definition screen. We're going to install the AMCAP image and video capture software for the Elite Cam from Vision Engineering. The only problem with this Samsung is the fact that I've broken the Blu-ray player so I've transferred the CD files onto a USB stick uh, hoping that this uh, install program will run from a USB stick. So we'll plug that in now and hope for the best as usual. This is all live so if it goes pear-shaped you'll be seeing it first. There we go, just plugging in. This obviously won't auto run as the CD would, so we'll have to navigate to the USB stick. And it's not there. Yeah, that. I don't know why that's taking so long to update. Let's just give it a refresh. Obviously thinks there's some problem with the uh, USB stick, which there isn't. So we'll just continue without scanning. And there it is. It's gone into it for some reason. Okay, it looks like this is going to run when the CD is first install installed. You've got an auto run option there. I think we'll just run this CD start application. Okay, uh, install the Elite Cam software. And yes to that. I think that's installed it and it's already running actually looking down here. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, install. Now I don't know whether I saw that correctly, it looked like it said some files were being skipped there. But I don't know whether that's because they're on the USB stick rather than the CD player, but let's just click on finish. Sorry, you've no video camera. No, I haven't because it's not plugged in yet. I've also disabled the built-in camera on the laptop so it doesn't get confused with what it's uh, working with. We'll just close these windows down, exit that, close that down. It's just going to remove the USB drive safely, and then we'll plug in the, the Mantis. Right, so we'll just plug the Mantis in. That's plugged in, we'll just fire it up. Right, that's now on. Well, let's have a look. Well, great start. <laughs> oh dear. Now, has that installed as a normal program? Or it has. Let's just run it again. Well, that's not a good start. Looking through the viewer, that is in focus there and completely out of focus on the screen. Well, that's most helpful. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 
looking through the options there, I have uh, absolutely no idea what's going on there. It's completely out of focus and utterly useless. So let's make it go out of focus uh, for me through the viewer. I wonder if we can just zoom out a fraction. Uh, I'm seeing the whole of this chip. Just adjust the board position here, get it in focus. I'm going to put this chip right bang in the middle of the viewer, actually through the, the mantis. Like that. Now that chip, looking through the viewer, is exactly up. Up, facing up to down, you know, up down. It's uh, but actually on the laptop. It's wonky, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Can't say I'm massively impressed at the moment. I'm sure there must be a resolution setting somewhere. Have a couple of leaflets on setting this up. And this leaflet just shows you how to plug it in, so it's not going to be in that one. And the other leaflet has a bit more information. out of that and go back to options again. Video renderer, I'm just reading through the booklet here. Select options, video render, the properties menu will be displayed. Under the direct tab view, ensure that all direct draw boxes are unchecked. Not sure why that is. Restart this again. Wonder if we'll see any difference this time. Aha, uh -huh. okay, there was a difference in quality there, wasn't there? From that. I still do not understand why this chip. Perfectly upright, but it isn't there. I mean, that, that means the camera's not been installed correctly, isn't it? It's, it's just twisted around slightly. <sighs> yeah, not impressed. Now, the next thing is with USB cameras, there's generally small delay in what you're doing live through the viewer to what you actually see on the laptop screen, which is not helpful when it's when you're trying to use the laptop screen for soldering live. Um, I don't know whether this is any different but I'll just have a little look now. Actually that's pretty good. That is showing exactly what I'm doing in time with me actually doing it. So that bit I am impressed with. There seems to be absolutely no processing delay there. 
Okay, there is probably. You know what? I'm not sure that there is. Oh, that's a that's a thumbs up for me. That one. I have a, another USB camera in the workshop, and it lags so far behind. It's ridiculous. You couldn't possibly use it live. So yeah, that's good. Well, if you move it quickly, there is a small delay. But if you were soldering this chip now and watching the screen, that would not be a problem at all. Yeah, impressed with that. I don't get this. The that chip. Well, okay, the chip isn't perfectly upright, is it, on the screen? I think the camera is just slightly skew in the um I don't know how it's mounted but it's it's obviously a fraction out. Now I don't know whether we can zoom this out or not. Just enabled zoom. That's uh, Control and Z. That doesn't do anything. Let's just go back to. This is a much better picture like that, isn't it? Oh, we capture. Setting. Have a little look in the instructions here, see if there's any recommendation for the compression. I'm sure that's only applying to the saved files, though. Right, no, no audio features are included with the software, that's fair enough, don't really need that. So I'm actually recording this screen with Camtasia, which probably does add some processing time to what we're actually seeing. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Okay, there's the zoom option. Toggles the zoom on or off. Um, allows the zoom horizontal and vertical pan and zoom to be adjusted. Remember where we saw it now. Oh, zoom. Control and Z enables it. Well, I'm perhaps not selecting it there. I'm hitting Control and Z, it doesn't seem to do very much. Okay. So that's vertical adjustment, and horizontal adjustment, and the zoom level. Mm -hmm. Move this chip around a little bit and line that up again. Right, that chip is now smack bang in the middle of the, the viewer's screen that I'm looking through. It's still, yeah, it's still twisted in the display here. Let's just pop that full screen. Oh, we can't have that at the same time. Let's just pop that.
you want to achieve a better focus looking at the, the screen. Yeah, you'd definitely be able to use that on the screen if you felt the necessity to. No problems there. I wish there was a more simple way to zoom in and out. It seems uh right, so so we can only zoom in by the looks of this. So there you are, both sets both horizontal and vertical are zoomed fully out there. And that's pretty much representing what I can see on the screen apart from the, the horizontal uh, the height. That's just moving the, the view down. Oh, I guess it's zoomed in as well. Let's zoom back out. Hmm, yeah, that's a weird, a weird set of controls. And as you pan, the zoom is adjusted as well. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> I'll have a play with that, but I'm not mad keen on, on that. But I think it'll be absolutely fine for full on videos and then I'll be looking through the the actual screen which is perfect. And uh this the um the screen the laptop image just needs tweaking I think contrast and brightness wise. Let me just see if I can get those pins a bit more in focus. Yeah, now did we see brightness and contrast and everything up here? Okay, I'm not seeing any brightness and contrast. I'm sure there should be there. A quick look in the book. Yes. Cancel that. What will happen if we change the laptop's screen resolution? Seem to make a lot of difference, does it there? I'll just switch that back. Well, the display to me is much clearer there, so I don't think it actually makes any difference here.
Ah, now does that look better? Does that look better? Let's have a look. Well, that took a snapshot. <laughs> I don't need that. I need to press the wrong thing. Well, I think I'm just not really getting this zoom option at all. It's kind of just sort of stretching it out, isn't it? You know, that zoom control doesn't return back to normal, does it? If I pan and see the zoom increasing, but if I take that pan back off, the zoom doesn't move. Mm. That's panning the other way and zooming. But the zoom doesn't go back to normal when the pan moves back to normal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've moved that IC and that hasn't updated on the screen. So what's going on there? Okay, back to normal again. Shame the camera's not aligned correctly. That that is it's just stupid, really. There is no reason for that, is there? How can you not have the camera aligned? Hmm. This is now going to store a video capture. I'm just going to move the board around. So as if we were using this as a forum demo. Pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7, pin 8, pin 9, pin 10. Yeah, so that's pretty much straight away. Um, I can see the old memory size clicking up fast though, so we're just going to stop that from recording. Well, that's that, that is, uh, as you can see, that's, let's have a look, 395 frames in 35 seconds, uh, so total size 231 meg. Just going to close that and play that video recording back for you. See what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. The only problem is there's no audio, so as far as forum software goes, there would be no point in me using it um, because I can just talk over it using Camtasia. Otherwise, I'd have to go back over this and record the audio. It's a fairly big omission, uh, really, isn't it? No audio on a simple program like this. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we just call it basic rather than uh, than anything else.
I don't know whether I, this is what I expected or whether I'm disappointed or or what really. I think for forum videos it's probably fine. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not actually that bad, is it? In in that that size box, not too bad at all. I'll have to see if there's a way just to tweak the contrast and brightness. Was those pins on that chip just a you know, a bit uh, a bit too bright? You just cover up the lens, uh, the uh, LEDs for a second. See what difference the brightness adjustment makes. Yeah, it's just uh, adjusting itself again. I'll go through the instructions again, have a little tweak with the settings. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's certainly better than the USB camera I've currently got in the uh, in the workshop. No doubt about that. You can see those pins uh, for demo purposes, and you'd be able to see them if I was soldering them. But if you want to see if there's anything dry jointed, I think you're going to just have to do it through the viewer, you know, like I'm doing now. I'm just going to tip this board on edge, lift the head, and see if I can see sideways. Yeah, so that's that's. Uh, I know this is probably not coming out as well as I can see it on the screen, but I've got the board tilted up so the edge is facing the, the mantis. I can actually look at those joints. Let's just do the same with that chip. Yeah, look, board tipped right up, and I can see the side on view of those uh, joints on that chip at the back. So not only can we look down, but uh, with a bit of careful uh, mantis control and moving the board around, you can actually see the contact side on. So, uh, yeah, I hadn't done that before. I don't know why I thought about it just then, but let's move that back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, interesting. Well, look, it's certainly going to help me with the headaches and migraines. My close up vision is not as good as it used to be, as I've talked about before on the forum. And um, this is going to allow me to just sit upright with my head up, looking forwards. No strain on anything, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will stop the headaches. I'm not sure it's brought back accordingly. Just let me get back to focus again. There we go. See, for me that looks in focus, but if I look at the laptop, it isn't. I just have to. Yeah, the laptop is in focus, I would say, there. Yeah, I mean, the screen still is in focus, but not... Yeah. I wouldn't say it wasn't in focus, looking through the Mantis, but I thought I had it a bit better a minute ago. But looking at the laptop screen, that looks more in focus than it did a few seconds ago. Yeah, a little bit of trial and error, I guess, here. Um, anyway, I'm waffling on. I mean, you get the idea. It's not perfect, but I don't think any uh, system would be unless you're spending many, many thousands of pounds. That's going to be perfectly okay for recording close-ups for forum videos uh, and things like that. And uh, the actual real view through the Mantis is is perfect uh, for what I will need to do every day. And I actually quite like this four times lens. I'm pretty certain before in January when I reviewed this, I, I preferred the six times. Um, but I think day to day use, this is going to be perfect. And it's the cheapest lens, so yeah, job done. Anyway, this is dragging on a bit. Um, the installation of the software is obviously really simple. It runs on all of the standard operating systems. Uh, I've just installed it on Windows 7 32 bit. There doesn't seem to be uh, any noticeable lag between what I'm doing and what's happening on the laptop screen, which is perfect, which means I can could actually use the laptop screen and do any work live, which might be 
useful. So yeah, yeah, okay. Um, um it, it's it's good. It's good for the price. Uh, I think it's it, it's pretty reasonable. This the the camera version was a two hundred pounds, I think, option, uh, and it comes with the software running on this laptop. It's pretty good. I will install it on some low end laptops I've got knocking around, and and probably the the tower PC that I will be using in the end for uh, this sort of work, and we'll just see how the images uh, vary from machine to machine. I think now I've used it and had a little mess around, I'm probably happy with it. That setting that I tweaked seemed to make a lot of difference, and it obviously prefers to be in this smaller screen that you're seeing now. As soon as I make that bigger, yeah, I mean, you can see there, you lose the you lose the resolution, don't you, and the focus. It looks pretty good here. But if you look at these this area here, when I enlarge it, yeah, it's not so good. I wouldn't want to work with it like that. But there, it's fine. Let's just go back to the chip, and it's stopped working again. Why is that? Oh, there we go. There's some uh, some processing problem there. Oh, as I swap between images, I'm still not happy with the fact that that chip looks twisted. In the display, it, I would say that clearly means the camera has not been mounted correctly. And it needs to be unscrewed and turned slightly and then locked back in place if that's how it's mounted. And that's just a lack of attention to detail which is going to annoy me. I might speak to Vision about that. Um, but yeah, we've seen the video capture working. It didn't have any compression on, so I'm not sure what difference that would have made to the image size. The picture seemed to improve when I hit that uh, MPEG-2 setting. Shame there's no audio, that would have been nice, but I'm not going to be worrying about that anyway because I'll be using Camtasia to capture all of this as I am now. Well, okay, here we go. Found the camera control. Let's just uh, move that across and have a, have a look. Uh, looks like we're going to have to click apply. Okay, did that actually make any difference? Okay, yeah, there we go. Didn't see a noticeable difference in the contrast setting movement. There it is. Okay, now well that's probably even better. Just adjust the um, brightness down. Saturation, yeah, not an issue. Sharpness we've got there. White balance. Oh, okay. Now look, now I've found that we can uh, we can have a little tweak and maybe improve it more. Let's just try on 60 hertz. Oh, that's, I think that's better. Okay, maybe earlier I was uh, a bit unfair and jumping the gun a bit. Now I found all these settings. I think we can, uh, yeah, tweak this and get it a lot, uh, a lot better than the original uh, image. So yeah, apologies if I jumped the gun there a bit. But I didn't find this immediately. Oh, okay, yeah, look, all these settings are making it nicer for me to look at. Yeah. yeah, I still don't think it's going to make any difference if I pop that to full screen size. It's just not able. No, okay. You probably could use it like that. But it's obviously much, much better back down at that size. Let's move over to a smaller chip. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now, now I'm pleased. Uh, that's a much better uh, picture. Um, some tweaking and adjusting of the lights. Yeah, I'm just covering the LEDs up there. Yeah, I'm sure we can get that uh, set up very nicely. Perfect for the forum videos anyway, which is uh, really what it's going to be used for. Uh, I'm sure I'll just use the the, uh, the screen on the Mantis itself to, to do whatever work I want to do. The working height on this is uh, is pretty reasonable as well. I'll add the specs on the forum at a later date, but they're already in the review 
uh, of the Mantis without the camera that I did back in January. So, yeah, that's better. That's better. I'm pleased with that now. Phew. It's getting worried for a minute because this isn't cheap. And I uh, can't really afford it, but I don't like the migraines and headaches that I keep getting because I keep having to take my glasses off to look at the small components. And then I can't see anything on the workbench, so I have to put them back on again and keep doing that all day. It's uh, it's not uh, it's not good. So yeah, oh yeah, that's really going to help. It's a shame you can't see the image through the, the viewer. I have tried to capture that on the review back in January. It's actually quite hard because it's a stereo uh, viewer. Uh, the camera struggles to really do it justice. Uh, yeah, okay, well that's great. Look, I've waffled on long enough, you get the idea. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm pretty impressed now that we've got that set up. Still want the camera straight, but I guess it's a minor problem. Okay, well, thanks for listening to me waffle, and uh, I'll catch you all on the forum.